We're okay. <laughs> We skipped it last time, do you remember, Gentle Monster? So yes. here's another one! <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to our channel, cuties, and today we're gonna do oil painting. It's been a while. Yeah. You guys remember we did an oil painting that was inspired by a YouTuber named Al Alfie. 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 I believe oh our cuties corrected us, but we forgot because we're dumb as fuck. But I remember he even commented in our video. Yeah. He does amazing oil painting work. Yeah. Like, wow. We're always just amazed by it. And this oil painting is also going to be inspired by his work. Yeah. There's one painting where he creates this, like, landscape, but mm -hmm. then it's like, Pink, purplish, so pretty. So we're like, you know what? Let's get rid of that flower one. Yeah, we just can't finish Thank that. You. I don't have time to sit down and draw all the flowers. flowers. Yeah, we're just gonna take it all out yeah. and then just create another blank canvas and draw that landscape. Yes. And we're gonna go to like cafes and also we're gonna unbox our new iPhone 12. Yes, we finally got yeah. it. But before we jump into the next clip, we wanna quickly mention that we again partnered up with Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community where you can have unlimited access to thousands and thousands of inspiring and creative classes with topics of your choices, such as illustration, music, photography, business, freelance, film and video, and the list goes on and all the members can have unlimited access to all of these classes. So one of the classes that was really, really eye-opening to me was this class called Productivity for Creatives Build a System that Brings Out Your Best by Teacher Thomas Frank. And this was a class that I think we really needed mm -hmm. because these days I feel like our productivity level and time management is really bad, sister. Do you agree? Yes, I do. So for example, this year we are really committed to doing TikTok more, like put more effort into it. But mm -hmm. by the end of the day, we we're like so tired, sister, so tired. Let's just do it tomorrow. So what Thomas is saying that your energy level is just one part of your motivation equation. The other part of the equation is external, external systems, systems such, such as like, like time, time constraints, constraints and obligation, obligation that is that out of out your of control. Your control. What is our priority when it comes to schedule, sister? It's creating content for YouTube, editing, and taking photos for Instagram, right? Yeah. But is there an obligation for us to do the TikTok? <laughs> we have obligation to do the YouTube and Instagram because it's our job. There's a lot of deadlines. Uh -huh. But is there deadlines on our TikTok? No. No. So we always just do it when we feel like it, when we have energy, right? Yeah. So that's the problem, sis! Oh my god! Yes! yes. So, um, so I gotta get paid in order to do it? <laughs> So the recommendation that Thomas gave us is to do our side projects or work. So in this case, our TikTok in the morning when we are mm. fresh and we have more energy. And then we can start doing our like priority work because we have a certain external system such as like deadlines that mm -hmm. can just push us to do it throughout the day. Oh, wow. Huh, thank wow. you, Thomas. How about you, sister? What was oh, your favorite class? Mine. Get your tissue, kitty. <laughs> so my favorite class, Visual Journaling, Drawing Your Feelings by Jordan Sondler, who is an artist and an illustrator. On her introduction, she says, quote, There's a beauty in vulnerability, and I do not think that your feelings have to be pretty to be beautiful. Oh! Back in 2011, when we were in Los Angeles, yes. I was going through some hard time in my life. Oh, you were? Okay. Yes. <laughs> what? Okay. What? What? But what I did was, I put all my feelings into my Yeah, journal. I remember you kind of started drawing, like, yes. doodling. Yes. I was drawing a lot of doodles on my notebook. Oh. And that's how I kind of um, escaped. And that was the way how I felt a less depressed. Oh. And what I like about our method of drawing our feelings is that we don't always have to show the good side of us. Like, usually when you draw something, you draw something that you like, what you love, what inspires you. But yeah. for her, she draws stuff that she hates. So, for example... She hates the rainy weather, so she uh -huh. does that. But there was a moment where another car almost hit her dog. And she also hates her next neighbor because yeah. they always play loud music. She hates her Gmail inbox because she can never get that down to zero. So she does that. So it's really new, right? Yes. This class literally sparked me to start drawing my feelings again. So we like Skillshare not only because there are so many creative classes, but also most of these classes are less than 60 minutes, which means it does not take up too much time in your schedule. And you can take 
these classes wherever and whenever you want and all of these classes does not drag you into like that long boring like theoretical lessons but it immediately jumps into the main lessons yeah. Skillshare is created specifically for learning yeah. so there's no ads in the middle of the class so it won't interrupt your class and mm -hmm. also they always launch new premium classes and the best part is that it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription yeah. so great news cuties the first thousand cuties who click on the link in the description box will get access to free trial of premium membership mm -hmm. so that you can also explore your creativity yes yeah so go ahead and click it <laughs> okay goodies, so thank you for listening and let's jump into the vlog let's go stop it here though and don't put it on a bed sheet <laughs> <laughs> so let's reveal our film sister one, one two, two three, three. Ta-da! So yes, I got the mint green. Yes, and I got the white because I'm pure, like white color. You always have a little spinach on your teeth, that's why you're green. Okay. <laughs> I'm Jackie's sister. I mean, I wasn't gonna go get a mint green, but then the, the guy there, the salesman was like, oh, The mint green is so gorgeous, Pretty, you, you have get to it. get it. Yeah. So we were like contemplating, should we get iPhone 12 or iPhone 12 Pro? Pro. But then the seller also said that there's not much difference, difference. except the camera. Yeah. Something about the camera. So, no, he said like, in terms of camera, you can like zoom in more. Like, oh, it was a y'all. So what are some of the difference between iPhone like 7 and iPhone 12? Because there's no longer a home button, mm -hmm. the screen is wider. At first it was really hard to get used to not yeah. pu like pushing the home button. Yeah. And also, oh my god, the camera quality is really <gasps> good. Yes. Yeah. So if you could just follow our Instagram, you could just know that these days we do a lot of photo dump posts. Yeah. And then a lot of cuties ask us like, how do you guys edit those photos? Yeah. Cuties, I didn't edit anything. This is like straight up just from photo. iPhone 12. Yeah, I didn't put any photos or anything and the quality is so good yeah. it wasn't cheap yeah it was uh, quite expensive but yeah. i mean it's a good, good investment, investment right? i'll probably use it for another 10 years so <laughs> ten years. <laughs> by the way cutie we have a tiktok it's at q1 cute jen so please go ahead and <laughs> what's up kitty Right now we're heading to Insadong to check out this cafe called Unyoe Shinjan, which basically is translated as the Temple of Sister. But in English, it's mostly known as the, the cave, cave cafe, cafe because literally the entrance of the cafe looks like a cave. You know what? This is actually our second attempt of going because the first time we went there, there was ten people listed in front of us, and they say the waiting time will be a minimum of one hour. I'm like. Thanks. Well, a lot of our cuties have been sending us DM to check out that place. Yeah. That's why we got to know about yes. it. So thank you, cuties. Thank you, cuties. I don't know how our cuties find these places yeah. when they're not even in Korea. <laughs> but I have heard the review. The cafe is quite tiny. It's tiny? Yeah, they say it's tiny. I don't know. I'm like just that. hoping there's not many people right now. It'll be okay. It'll be a lot of seed. Right, cuties? <laughs> What's the outfit of the day? My this sweater is from Yestel. Uh huh. The little jewelry is from this Korean brand called A Bit More. Mm -hmm. This is so pretty. Yeah. The yeah. bag is from Stout from Farfetch. Yeah, from Farfetch. The and pants is from Yestel. Yeah. The shoes from Yestel too. Yeah, so cute. Would you love it? Yeah. Cute. This is Cute Jin's outfit of the day. Me too. From Me too. Yes. This is from. Oh, uh, Maxi J. Yeah. Pants is from Yes Style. Mm -hmm. And then MLB shoe. It's from Yes Style. Yeah. So pretty. Mark Jacob from Fort Fitch. Yeah. Bye. What? Here it is. Oh my god. I don't think there's people, sister. There's no people. But this place is really tiny. You, everybody take picture here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, now it's changed to yellow. It tastes like matcha. I don't like matcha. 
Their signature drink is called Artemisia Spanner and it costs about $5 but I wouldn't recommend this drink if you don't like matcha or drinks that are way too sweet. Also if you kids want to get seats and take lots of selfies without people on your frame, we highly recommend you cuties to visit as early as possible during weekdays since it gets crowded really, really fast. Hi cuties, so um, here are our cuties. Like there's, there's no privacy in that cafe, like everyone is like right beside you. You can hear what they're talking about, so it was so hard for us to film but yeah. Yeah, overall it was okay. It was quite new but then I hope the place was much bigger. bigger. But it was really unique. Yeah, I liked it. I think it was like worth my money. Yeah. And it really feels cool like a cave. Uh -huh. That was really cool. I think that place is going to be really popular during summer. Yeah. 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 Insadong is one of popular neighborhoods of Seoul where you can find many alleys that lead to art galleries, teas, and antique shops and artworks in Korea. It has a mix of traditional and contemporary which makes it so special and popular for tourist attraction. If you love an artsy and nostalgic areas, make sure to stop by at Insadong. For us, I think we visit Insadong when we want to visit an interesting cafes or when we need to buy an art supplies. Got it. The whole thing costs hundred fifty dollars. Jesus Christ, that's freaking expensive. So here it is, cuties. It's time to say bye bye. But if you see it closely, like you see that little thingy, it's like, a labor man. Oh, sister, before we like take it off, can I take one thumbnail? Remember, we actually DIY the whole frame Canvas, too. If yeah. you see the back, there's a wood. Like this? Yeah. So we're gonna definitely keep this, of course. The but frame. we're just gonna take out the, the Canvas. fabric. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so let's do that. Oh, oh my god. god, it's gonna be a lot of work. Man, this is huge! Yeah. This is like so deep. <clears throat> Did you just rip it off? Would it come out though? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that was oh, so yeah, dumb. we can just rip it off. Yeah, why do we have to take? <laughs> yes, we just need to rip it off. Why do we need to take out the yeah. stapler? That was so dumb. We'll be back, cuties. It's been four weeks since you called, and I've been waiting here for you all along. I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me Never should have said it's better this way I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two separate worlds Coming back to me, say that you won't go I can't cope without you and I wanna hold you close Say that you won't go Say that you won't go Cuties. No, you can't! Oh my god, this is such a good idea. We found out that we don't have enough fabric. Fabric! Yeah. So we had to actually sew like two pieces together. Yeah, like this and this. This side is gonna be at the bottom. So it's okay. It's okay, right? It's okay. <laughs> yes, it's okay, sir. I can't even see it. We're okay. <laughs> Make sure there's no any dust on your canvas. So we're gonna use a masking tape. These one. That's 
Okay, master, what are the ingredients? So there's two ingredients that you need when building a canvas. So first you need an acrylic binder. This is kind of like, um, think it as of a glue, okay? A very stiff glue that's gonna make the canvas very stiff. And you always need to mix 30% water and 70% acrylic binder. And then next you need a <laughs> and next you need a jet so this is basically making canvas white so that whatever color that you put on top of it is gonna be bright. <laughs> That's a perfect sound. Ah, that crispy new canvas sound. Sister, I just realized we have ivory black. <gasps> Sister, those oil paintings are freaking expensive and we bought- And we have Parisian blue. Sister, we waste our money. It's okay, we can use this again in the future. Oh my God. It's okay, let's please get it justified. It's a bit justified. <laughs> well, our canvas turned out perfect. Yes. I mean, it's easy. It's like our third one. We're not gonna make it. I don't feel the same as you. Why should I fake it? I don't love you.
Purple. Yeah. Um, like kind of uh, reminds me of army. Did yeah. you intentionally wear the purple today? Yes, for thumbnail. <gasps> you smart ass. <laughs> for outfit, he didn't really put a lot of like colors to the cloud. Yeah. But for us, we put more color to more it. More colors to it. Yeah. Because, because the canvas is too big. Yeah. If we just play with one color, the picture looks too flat. Yeah. So we have to put more color to it. And also because his canvas was small, it was easy for him for him to create that brush stroke. Oh yeah, it was but really hard. For us, hard. it was just so hard because yeah. we have to work. With small brushes. The, the biggest size we had was this. Yeah. Picture looks way much better when you see from far away. Yeah. It really looks like there's like yeah. this river. river. So and pretty. Like, you know, the sky mm -hmm. is reflected on the river. Okay. Good job, sis. Good job, sis. So yeah, cuties. Hope you cuties enjoyed our oil painting and I hope this inspired you cuties to create your own oil painting too. Yeah, and it was fun. Oh my god. Ugh. Like uh, my nails, I kind of feel embarrassed when I go to Mart. Oh yeah, and give the credit me. card to the cashier. They're like, eh, "What are you doing in your house?" <laughs> I'm oil painting. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, hope you can enjoy the video, and see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. This girl's not moved easily. Paint my portrait.